Now what's going on guys, in this video we're going to be installing some LED light strips in my truck. So we're going to be installing it along this area right here. So that way I can get lighting all over my tailgate area. And as well as a little bit out in this area as well when I'm you know, wanting to cook a little further away from the truck. The reason why I got two of these is because um, these come in six and a half feet and I think I need somewhere around eight and a half or maybe a little bit more. Uh, on the inside of this package you get a remote um, and obviously the controller with the LED strip. Um, I've also got some 90 degree connectors, obviously zip ties and then I've also got this uh, self adhesive tie mount to keep it nice and clean and then double sided tape pliers to crimp down the uh, connectors, obviously scissors and I think that should be it. And it's all going to get powered right here. I have a USB port that was installed uh, along with my camper shell, but I'm going to be running it off of this power source right there. This is a 90 degree connector, but this angle is much wider than that. So I'm going to have to modify the connector itself. Further up top this way, same thing. That's going to be more narrow. So I'm going to need to do something with the wires to uh, get at the sharper angle that I need. So I also have to be kind of precise in where exactly I have my corner connectors because every half inch or so or where my contact points are so I can't just you know snip it right in the middle and expect for it to connect so I need to be really precise at how I do this. Okay so I think this is the plan is I'm going to modify the corner connectors first to give me the angles that I want and then temporarily stick them up with uh, double sided tape and then from there I can measure the distance between one corner to another and then if I need to modify that or move the connectors to get it to meet the contact points on the LED strips then that's what I'll do. So I need this to be a little bit of a wider angle so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull I'm gonna pull these out and then I'm going to snip it just a little bit right there and then I'm going to do it little by little incrementally until it gives me the angle that I want. This inside wire is fine like that put it back together let's so make sure they get seated all the way in and then I want to make sure that I don't accidentally press these uh, connectors up top here because that will actually bite into the wire and then prevent me from sticking the LED light strips in there let's see if that's gonna give me the angle that I want so that's straight that direction but I need this to be a little bit more like that so all right let's do a little bit more trimming um, and that should give me the angle that I want, but I'm going to do that all the way around. Okay, so here's an update. Uh, I was able to peel back this corner a little bit right here, and I'll tuck that under there. The uh, LED should still be able to work, because it's basically going to follow the dotted line, the LED strip, and uh, it'll look like that side right there so basically that's what it looks like on the other side and then I've got my you know that cable that's kind of blocking it but I think it should be okay yeah, I forgot to film this earlier but um, basically make sure you plug it in <laughs> and ensure that everything's working so that's what the white looks like there okay so I've got that piece up there still and uh, I've measured that strip all the way down to this point and uh, I also have a strip from that connection point that's going to run all the way to here and stop right there so i'm kind of doing this like i don't know almost backwards <laughs> because i was going to try to start from here and then run it that way so i'm just kind of doing sections at a time that i feel is gonna i don't know i guess like make sense and i'm just cutting pieces of it from the very back end of it you know like i said i've got two packs of these as mentioned here i'm, I'm making sure that the polarities are correct so we got the two pins here one pin on top and just pushing it straight in until it stops and it makes contact. I like to just do one at a time. Okay. Almost done. The, uh, the tricky part is this long section up top here. So I've got it connected to that running all the way across. I have tape holding the weight of the uh, LED strip. And then if you look over here, Right there where my thumb is, is where I need to snip it. Okay, so everything's cut and all connected. I plugged it in and the light is working still, so thank goodness. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll just zip tie this portion first. 
to that right there uh, and then slowly start sticking it all the way through Okay, well, I am all done installing it. I'll give you a tour of what the wiring looks like on the inside there. Uh, but uh, here's the remote, and the range on this is not very good. I'm standing back here, it's not working. If I reach all the way in, and almost get under there, then it'll work. And then of course I can cycle through all the colors. So if I'm inside the truck or just sitting right here by the tailgate, I can change the colors and stuff. And of course turn it off, but the phone app, which is called Balan X, I guess. Uh, this right here uh, is really cool. So I can, here's the, the app right here. And I can turn it on. You can see that it turns on in the background. And then my favorite part is, uh, besides just being able to change the, the colors from the app standing further away, I can do this. So this right here is the music function. And right now it's actually picking up my voice through the phone and it's lighting up the colors in the background there but if I do this and turn the music on it picks it up from my phone which is really cool okay, so there is the connection right there did a little bit of a loop and then had the zip tie connected to that it runs under the truck and I've got a little bit of slack here so that way when I lift it up and close it it doesn't uh, catch on to this if this thing gets damaged then the whole thing is, is messed up but we got the underside of this thing here and uh, hopefully you guys see what's going on uh, it's zip tied to this bolt right here and then there's a control box I can also turn it on and off through that control box right here this little thing right here that's hanging is the sensor that picks up uh, uh, noise and so this is velcro that I have stuck to the carpet and then I have the rest of that wire with velcro all the way down this whole thing here and then down here i have the wire running behind the uh, usb outlet under here and then connected into that and then this is nothing fancy here this is just the remote that i made a little pocket for so later on when i have time i'll make something a little cooler looking than that but that's where that will live and that's it I could probably leave this thing plugged in the entire time if I wanted to. Since it's still pretty bright out, uh, we'll come back at night and then see how this thing looks. Uh, but I'm excited with uh, how it all turned out. It worked out way better than I, I was expecting. And then all of the measurements. I just got really lucky that a lot of the measurements like just worked out with where all the, the connection points are on this thing. It's just a lot of patience, you know, measuring things or basically just kind of stretching the tape all the way across making sure that I reach the other side, figuring out um, how far back I need to snip it, and then taking everything off essentially, or sections of it, and then crimping it down together so that way all the contact points are, are on there. Anyway, let's take a look at how this stuff looks at night. So this is what it looks like from the inside if I have everything closed up and I'm sleeping on the uh, platform here, which is something that I do often on my hunting trips. I'm just messing around with the different colors through the app as well as the dimmer selection on the app, which is really cool. If you liked this video or learned anything from it, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you'd like to purchase this very same kit that I use in this video, I'll have the links down below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.